Okay, uh, here's what I got today. Um, wish I'd have dug this up, but I didn't. Um, kind of in did indirectly. I uh, cashed in my clad and uh, picked this up. So, uh, kind of uh, makes a clad worth finding here. So, I just thought I would share that. So, hopefully I'll get some uh, good clad totals this year as well. Uh, as well as uh, some more silvers. Okay, uh, out once again at the uh, uh, old soccer field that I found the uh, Wheaties and Mark last week. And just been here about five minutes and found uh, old Wheatie um, right in front of the uh, where the soccer goal is here. So pretty cool. Get a date off of it later. Uh, pretty smooth. So. Um, and uh, it was fairly deep, probably six inches or so at least, so pretty cool. Keep looking. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, kind of funny here. Uh, found the wheat right over here. Here's the soccer goal. Right in the uh, box here. I <laughs> got a good signal. Um, these are ringing up kind of like Zinkins. Uh, got another wheat here right inside the uh, goal so uh, not sure the date of it but uh, it's kind of funny I actually avoided these areas originally thinking they would be hunted out um, so I uh, found uh, four wheats and a merc uh, in this field here and uh, thinking uh, may not be hunted too much so I'm gonna keep looking here and uh, maybe get some more silver Another here, uh, another signal here. Uh, normally I wouldn't have dug it, but it was right next to these wheats. Uh, kind of a bouncy, low signal. Um, looks like a spike um, of some sort. Piece of iron, but uh, looks like a spike. So, if you guys uh, have any uh, idea specifically what this is, let me know. But uh, anyway, keep looking. Okay, uh, been a little bit uh, starting to sprinkle, uh, just hit uh, Wheaty number three. Um, not sure if uh, we'll watch this rain here and see if uh, see if it holds out enough for me to find a silver here. Well, uh, got another little find here. I've found a few of these uh, over the years, but uh, canning jar lid, still got the porcelain in the top. So, keep looking. All right, uh, out again today. Uh, left the uh, park the other day. Uh, it started raining, so I just got those three wheats. Uh, but uh, made a delivery in another town here that uh, looked up an old park, and uh, thought I'd swing by real quick and try it out. Um, there's a ball field over here. I was going through and just getting absolutely nothing. It must just have been picked to death. And uh, Tried to uh, got some clad over on this hill, working my way down this little hill, and got a really deep signal here. And just look how deep this is. Get my uh, turn the pinpointer on. Down on the bottom of the hill, the this, the full length of the uh, garret here. So thought uh, if it's this deep, it's got to be something old, right? So I thought I'd try to get this on a somewhat live dig. Um, cleared it out here enough to see it was a penny. So let's pop it out and see what we got. Yeah, it's a Lincoln. Hey, at least we got a wheat, but man, that has got to be the one of the deepest pennies I've ever dug. Let's see if we can get a date off of it here. Looks like a 56. So, pretty deep... Uh, 56 Wheatie here. Looks like it's in real nice shape. But man, that had to be... I don't know the exact length of that pinpointer, but... Uh, um, liking the new coil here still, so... Uh, don't think the old one would have uh, hit something that deep. So... Uh, uh, keep looking here, see if we can find anything else. Still something left in this part. Okay guys, uh, nice day out today. Uh, uh, snowed and then rained and... Uh, it's been a few days since I've been able to get out. And uh, decided to head by the uh, soccer field here again today, uh, just over by the goal over there is where I found the other day. And um, uh, 
just dug a couple of uh, pieces of trash and uh, first good signal first coin of the day got a really nice uh, um, it was looking like a dime quarter signal uh, really nice signal and uh, about four inches deep here um, not sure exactly what we got here yet but it's looking like a silver so uh, let's see if we can find out together what this is Ah, we have a Merc. So, I'm not going to rub it here. I'll uh, show this uh, here in a little bit. It uh, looks worn. Um, so, uh, I will, uh, you'll be seeing this in just a second uh, with the magic of uh, <laughs> computer. So. Okay, uh, this is a little uh, catch-up clip. My uh, camera ran out of uh, uh, battery, went dead. So, um, found a couple of things here. Wish I could have got on video, but I'll uh, show you what I got here. Um, first thing uh, is this here. Uh, I was getting a really low signal, like a foil. Um, I haven't cleaned it off totally yet, but it looks like a Missouri tax token. Um, really bad shape, ate up here. One of the, probably the worst shape one of these I've found. But uh, anyway, another for less, neat fine. We got a, uh, this is really dirty, but I'd cleaned it off. Uh, it was a 40s uh, wheat. And then uh, we got this here. Um, just a minute ago, it was uh, ringing up like a quarter, but a little bit lower. Um, it's uh, gold, however, I don't know if it's gold-plated or gold. It's got some green on it, so I'm thinking it's probably gold-plated. Looks really old. Looks like it's missing the stone. I'll clean this up uh, and show this at the end of the video. Um, all right, well... Now... Um, on to, um, I've got a, uh, getting a really good signal here. It's in the clod. Um, I don't do very many live digs, or this may be my first uh, complete one. Or actually, I'm going to show you what I'm getting here. Turn the machine on. And this place, it's just a mud hole out here. I don't know if you can see the standing water on the field. Um, so if I wasn't finding stuff, I'd probably give up, but, uh, let me see here. Okay. I don't know if you can see this. First attempt at this, so. It's getting a real good dime signal here. I don't know if you can see it. Sun, maybe. Let me, uh, get on this side. see it there getting a good dime signal um, so anyway let's see what we got tell you what I'm gonna get my gloves back on real quick and uh, I'll be right back okay guys back let's see what we got here pretty hopeful about this but we'll see what it is Hey guys, we got something here. Looks like it's going to be a silver. Um, let me get my glove off here. It's so muddy, I can't hardly uh, do anything here. Check it out, guys. Let's see what we got. Huh. 
we have another Merc. This is officially my first uh, two silver coin day. So uh, thrilled about that. Um, this field's uh, giving up some uh, silver here. So uh, I'll get a date off this later. Not going to rub it, but uh, that's awesome. It was about oh, five, probably five, six inches. So awesome. Um, I'll uh, show you the date here at the end of the video. Or actually, you'll see it here in a minute, the way I've been doing it. So uh, keep looking. Okay, uh, got a couple of neat finds here I uh, thought I'd show you. Um, got this uh, at the park the other day, um, or that soccer field actually. Um, when I was digging a couple of Indian heads, I didn't have much time. And I uh, got this, uh, a lot of times I just throw the shotgun shells in my junk pile, toss them later. Um, but this one looked old, so I um, uh, thought I'd check it out a little bit for fun. And... Uh, looking it up here and it says Winchester Blue Rival on it. So um, look that up online here and uh, you can see here Winchester Blue Rival it's a 12 gauge uh, looks like they were just made from 1894 to 1904 so uh, pretty old find I uh, thought it really looked old still you know with this green patina on it and uh, pretty neat you can actually see some of the blue paper still on it so uh, for being that old um, so kind of a neat find um, for something I usually just trash and then uh, um, my uh, dad uh, checks his change uh, um, for old coins and uh, actually found this buffalo in circulation this week and I uh, thought that was pretty cool never seen a buffalo actually in circulation <laughs> still it's a no date but uh, I think he got this at a gas station, so uh, that's pretty cool. So uh, anyway, uh, hopefully get out uh, maybe for a hunt tomorrow and uh, um, see what else we can find.